Hey, this is Margaret Lynch, author of the book Tapping Into Wealth, totally committed to you shifting in your energy, shifting out of your programming so that you can create more wealth. And I'm also the creator of the Tapping Into Wealth Coach Training Program. And so this is a great video for you or for you if you're a coach working with clients because it's really a great challenge around some of your habits. Now, if I asked you right now, when you think about all the changes that you wanna make, or maybe it's a business you're growing or some other change, you could tell me that there are certain things that you know you should be doing and you're not doing on a consistent basis. And so what I want to suggest to you is to just take a breath, let yourself off of the hook a little bit and realize you're just in the habit of not doing them. Now, this is a concept that I love. I, I remember reading it years ago um, from the T. Harv Ecker book, which I love called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. And it's the idea of being in the habit of not doing certain things that I know I should do. Now this has helped me a lot um, when I sort of get in and out of a workout routine, like in the spring, I like to start running again every day. And you would think I was trying to launch a spaceship into outer space. It takes so much energy every day and I battle with myself and I go back and forth, just about taking a quick 20 minute jog first thing in the morning. And it's, I know it's good for me, it feels good, but I realize I'm just not in the habit of doing it. I'm in the habit of actually not doing it. I have a whole other morning routine in the winter. So I'm a little bit easier on myself that sometimes it's gonna take time for me to get out of the habit of not doing it and reestablish a new habit. So I want you to take a minute right now and write down two key things that you know you should be doing and you're not doing, and maybe you've already been kind of hard on yourself about these things, and I want you to just look at them and own and honor, almost like a positive affirmation. I am in the habit of not doing these things. I am actually in the habit of doing all sorts of other things during the space and time that I could be doing these things. And just breathe on that. It's okay. And habits can be changed when we are aware of them. That's why consciousness is always the first step. So here's what I want you to do. When you have identified certain things that you know you should be doing, every week that goes on, it's hard on you to say to yourself, I'm gonna get this done or I should get this done and then watch yourself not do it. It's, it's actually hard on you, you're hard on yourself about it and it's not very great on your vibe. And what we wanna do is start building up experiences where you say, wow, when I set my mind to something, I really go after it. So in this moment, I want you to take at least one of those things and go to your calendar and actually calendar a couple of two hour blocks over the next week where you are going to work on that thing. It's really important to drag the time out, create a little block on your calendar and in there write, do this. I do that all the time because I like to get a lot of video done, but I can do a million other things like reading and deleting emails, my favorite pastime, um, instead of getting it done. So I calendar it and I say during this time, I'm gonna prepare or I'm going to come up with topic ideas, and then on the next block of time, I'm gonna actually film the videos. Now, I don't need to put that on the calendar, really, because it's not a meeting, I don't have to be anywhere, there's nobody else involved, right? But if I don't put it on the calendar, it won't get done. When I do put it on the calendar, I create a new habit. So that is my tip and challenge for you today. Let me know how it works for you, and I will see you on the next video.